Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Simon Njau Maina, or Simon Maina, or better known to chef, the fat fucker. <laughs> well, I was, a, I was a bit big in the, my previous life. Well, up until a few years ago, I was executive chef of the iconic Intercontinental Hotel. Uh, I left a year before COVID and passed on the mantle to Emmanuel Aluda, who's here with us. Emmanuel, please wait. Uh, before, um, lucky I left uh, a year before COVID. Uh, before that, uh, going back, we set up my kitchen now, the Kobe's. Uh, we, do, we have bakeries in Riru and Thika. And we set them up with chef. He'll come inspect the kitchens. And uh, once we are ready, he gave me the go ahead of uh, resign. You see, uh, I, I joined uh, chef in 1999. Uh, my parents took me there because, you see, my grandfather was a chef. My dad started out as a chef. My mom was there. He was trained as a chef. They, didn't want, they did not want me to join the industry. Their plan was for, for Chef Eamon to shred me down to pieces, which he did. I had dreadlocks back then, Isaac. Please not. Mm -hmm. I weighed in almost 160 kgs and did not let me in the kitchen until I cut, them, I cut the dreadlocks off. To the surprise of my parents, I shed them off. You see, I was a problem child, as I was told. I went to five high school in four years. Until today, I repeat, it wasn't me. They just didn't get me. Chef did. He encouraged us to stand our ground. And it was okay to be different. It got, it got us into trouble more than once. And as a true father, he swept in to the rescue, even busting some of us out of prison with a Green Range KUK. <laughs> which was not a, a surprise to spot, us, to spot us on the street rolling with it, if not Kimanzi. We, we did a VIP event in Ivasha, while at the Norfolk, we catered for 300 VIP guests, the meal packages, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. During lunch service, fruits ran out. I refused to hand the dinner fruit allocation. We got to a shouting match with the then food and beverage manager. I won. Clients were happy. The emphasis was food was great. The next day, I was in the HR office, being handed a warning letter for insubordination. Chef tore it up and told them to stick it up their ass. <laughs> there was this competition I messed up. We ended up getting a silver medal after Germany, and I swear Chef never forgot about it. In Rwanda, they brought a gelatin leaf and never worked with a gelatin leaf. And I'll go, Chef, what's this? And he's like, you fucking fucker, you fucking move. The timber will not set. After that, uh, after that scenario, started importing all the crazy stuff not found in Kenya. In Kenya, foie gras, beluga caviar, frog steaks, and days. We never lost after that. We won so many competitions that we got banned from taking part. <laughs> JP, does that ring a bell? For competition, you had to prep like you're going to a marathon. We became very good. There was this time we went for a competition and Jimmy did a meal flue wrapped in jaconde. I swear, until today, that guy, I believe that guy came with that dessert in the pocket. There was no way. There was a time Isaac, Jimmy, and Masharia got into a fight <laughs> in the streets of Nairobi. One of so, so many, I lost count. Cops <laughs> showed up. Masharia and Jimmy were arrested. Those days, Usain Bolt had nothing on Isaac. He was fit then. <laughs> Next day, Isaac rocks up to work, and we are, are all working at Pango. Isaac told me as usual. And as usual, I had to break the news to chef. He got them out, and they had to work their shift. No going home. There was a time I was denied a visa to the UK, and chef took on the embassy. What balls. He will not stand in he'll not stand in for injustice and will tell off in anyone off regardless. At Fairview, we had a kitchen football team. 
and used to take on the rest of the hotel at break time, between 3 and 6 p.m. We won every time, and we'll go back for dinner service and win awards. Later, we'll go for a drink with Chef, and, and Chef will join us, most probably at Gypsies. The owner of Gypsies is here. And, we, and Chef trained one of, his, one of the boys, Leroy. My vacations. Now, when, when he trained you enough, it was time to go, as, as, as Timothy said. And my time came, and I was told to resign. I passed on my mantle to Isaac and Mashari. My vacation, my first stop will be his kitchens. He will make a special meal for my wife and I. Uh, every Christmas and New Year's, you will expect a call. Every 11th of January, I will always remember to call him. And his phone calls will last for hours. On my wedding day, he brought the cake with the team, with the team, and he had made it, and stayed, uh, and stayed with us until the last moment. His speech on that day, he mentioned that I'll not last in the kitchen. My mind was, in, my mind was a, business, a businessman, while chef, that came to light also. Did I mention he did my stagnate? <laughs> that will remain forever in drops. <laughs> Our last tour, chef's tour for hunger, were never missed, the last one being in 2011. We are Matthew, at the time representing Abu Dhabi, Isaac Masharia Lucas and, and, uh, and Chef Team Kenya, and I was representing Team Mozambique. He recommended me for my last roles and all the other roles that I ever took at the Intercom. He negotiated my salaries and my benefits. I, there I shined. Later I realized what he'll say to us. Simon, one day my lads will take over Kenya. And boy, did we live up to his words. When Obama came down and my team were picked to cater for him, he was the first one I called. He was words were, you go, Simon. We arranged my exit at Intercon for years. He inspected the kitchen at Kobe's and, sub, and suggested some changes, we did, which he did. Our guys are trained from scratch, the true Marlon's way. Our baker was a gardener. Our head chef was once an electrician. He touched my daughter's heart. Till now, I have not had the courage to break the news that chef rested. He will spoil her with candy, chocolate, and remembered his glass bowl with a smile, and the promise he made to her to marry her. I'll miss you, Chef. Thank you for the friendship, the mentorship, and the memories. You're truly one of a kind.